Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my journey to Masters or Challenger rather. In this one, we're sitting at Diamond 3 100 LP. Now, we're going to be playing the promos. I believe this is my second time doing these promos. Second or third time? One of those two. I forgot already. I think it's the second time. I'm pretty sure it's the second time. But we're starting the promos off for this episode. Fingers crossed we get into Diamond 2. I feel like I've been playing pretty well almost every single game. So I have to just keep the consistency up. And uh, yeah, so we're going to keep playing with Zod for now because I just finished recording the previous episode that we do. And I thought, you know what? Let's continue that play because I, I want to keep playing and we're playing together and it's fun and I, I like to i like to do i like to play with friends i like to do all that kind of stuff so with all that being said and done boys and girls let's jump into it let's play this promos let's go all right guys the next game or rather the first game of this episode is about to begin gonna be playing casted in the mid lane because so i played him before as you guys saw where i faced uh, scar as diana now that build i was just testing it out not doing that again so the way you want to build casted i believe is you want to go roa then archangel style and just those items alone, you're absolutely just mind-blowingly strong. Like once those items kick in, like once the row is fully stacked, or at least like five plus, and then once your uh, Archangel transforms into Seraphs, my God! Like I promise you, like once those items transform, I'll probably have another item by then as well. Like those three items, like so strong, very strong. So with all that being said and done, guys, let's go. Let's play. Nice, well played, well played, well played. Damn, that was close. I had just barely enough mana to ult in and kill the Mouse of Heart. Yes, that's so good. Oh my god, that is so good. Mm, smack that down, baby. Let's go. I just realized I had the wrong fucking scene on the whole time. Jesus, I'm fixing them. Oh, so the first part of the recording is pretty like much up until there. this point. No, it's there, but it's very zoomed in. <laughs> oh. Come, come, come. Yep, come. They're all low. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I got Bart, I got, got Bart, I got Bart. Yeah, you got, you got him, okay. Nice. We'll get everyone else. Wait. How did they end that hard? What, did that, what happened? What? How did they lose that so hard? They went hard for the Nami and she had a stopwatch. Oh, that's the old, the classic, the classic stopwatch. I like it. I just yeah. What's up, girl? Nice try, nice try. Honestly, nice try. That was actually really close. I'm considering I'm still kind of weak. Yeah, you don't have like that much damage. Oh, okay. But like, really, really. Oh, I don't know about that play, boys. Okay, they're all bot. They're all bot. They're all bot. Yeah, we're about, we're about. Need to help me? Wait, there's three bots, I don't get it. Oh, Bubba, come to Papa! Woo! Damn, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> they got fucking baited so many times by this Nami. I had full stack ult though, that's why. Jesus. Oh shit. Full stack? Yeah, that was a full stack ult. Did you have like mana band on? Or no. the mon I just have a lot of mana because I have row and tier. Dude, you know how much mana I have with this build? It's disgusting. Like, I can literally ult without getting presence of mind over and over and over and over. I'm here. I'm not there right now. Yeah, you're getting caught by by close to two. Woo! I mean, that's, I don't I don't even mind. Like my I I get strong. I only get stronger with this. Like this is like I'm I'm not even worried about. Close is still on one item too, and I'm like almost on my third item. Yeah, we, we straight up went two fights. There's, he, <laughs> there's, he has absolutely no chance. No, 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 they're not, they're not. They're not? I'll come behind anyways. Okay, okay. Come on, Costa. 
I'm on the jacks. I'm on mouse. Okay, they're all done. I got two of them. Kalen takes these so fast, dude, because I have uh, my I headshot applied. A little risky, a little risky. I don't like it. I don't like it. You wanna do it? No, no, no. no. I don't okay. like it. Because they can just retaliate with the Baron here, so we got chill. And the bar can catch one of us off. And I have three gold. I'm here for a flank. Oh, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. Yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. Oh. Bar flashed. Oh my god, I got yo Bard Q works in mysterious ways, my friend. I one shot the mouse heart. Oh let, let hey the rope, the rope. Uh-huh. I got to be when I spawn. Good night. I still don't get why Kaylin's strong. I really don't understand. She just like she should always just have a lead and she, as long as you're a good player you shouldn't throw it. Which is what a lot so of So you're saying you're a good player, bro? As long as you know not to throw it, you don't have to be a good player. How about that? Okay, okay. Alright guys, the next game is about to begin. This is going to be the final, hopefully the final game in our promos. So we're uh, currently 1-0. Uh, if we win this, we win the promos 2-0. Go to D2 and we're on a pretty good pretty good roll actually. Hopefully we can go through D2 pretty quickly as well. Playing pretty well, playing consistently, you know. Again, I feel like I'm just playing a lot better lately. Because I'm probably playing more League overall, honestly. I am grinding more because, again, like I said, I'm duo queuing. And that makes me want to play more because I, I, I just generally enjoy the game more. So with all that being said, I'm done boys and uh, girls. Let's get this party underway. Let's go, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Is it worth it? Uh, nope. Nice. Did you see that? W here? E, W, Q here. I did, I saw that shroom shuffle, baby. I'm actually coming back. Yeah, we got it. Come, 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 come. Okay. They, should, they should clean up here. Oh my god. Okay. Nice, nice. He has this rated dirt with a timer. Oh, what? Excuse me, sir. What are you doing? I can't kill them. I actually, I, I don't know. Maybe I should be the one bot. Like, I literally can't do if you want him. Like, I, I thought I could make a play. I ulti the Draven into our tower, but with the Janna shield into the fucking Janna ult yeah. and everything. Just Draven like, just life steals so much, so you can't out DPS him one to one. Yeah, he does life steal a lot. She's TPing. Oh god, there's, there's two. Oriana and Thing are there. We have to like rush. We're just rushing this. Come on! It's hard for them to walk up through my traps, though. This guy's actually anything. Like he's, he's at the point where he's actually anything. Yo, Camille's getting our. GG. Go away. Oh, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened this game. All right, guys, and probably the final game of this episode and the final game of our promos is about to begin. Playing Azir again, honestly, really want to go Zet this one, but I can't because they have a Poppy. If they didn't have a Poppy, I would have, but Poppy is just so obnoxious if she builds full armor. And the last thing I want is for them to have full armor, you know, maybe even literally going armor and stuff like that. So I think Azir is pretty good here. You know, Cassiopeia and Zed is kind of a little bit of a, it's not too bad of a matchup, but, you know, she is like a super, super late game champion. So I wanted to match the late game power and I think... I think, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. So I'm playing pretty well, guys. I do feel like I'm playing well. I'm playing consistent, you know, playing pretty decent. So with all that being said and done, let's jump into this game. Let's win. Let's go. We can turn this. The ball is not here. Well, actually, I'm over top. Oh, Nilly's up there, probably. Like, they're hard diving, guys. What the fuck? Oh, what? Yo, they're, yeah, yeah, they're fucking being greedy as shit, dude. Oh, 
nice, nice. Is she going for you? I don't know. Okay. She's somewhere in the jungle. Okay. Should we go help him? We should go help him. No? What do you think? Is it too late? Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. If we can catch one, that is. Fuck! Oh no! She has no all, right? Yeah, she has no all. Uh, yeah. Little behind us. Little behind us. Little behind us. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. No, I, I think we just. We chill, we chill, we chill, we chill. Okay. She's gonna be thirsty for this. Okay, they got a lot. They got a lot. Top. Maybe, maybe hard negations. Wow, that castle was fucking Okay, I jumped side a little bit. Oh fuck! Oh no! I'll try to stall them. Oh, I thought I had a potion. I. I guess the next game is about to begin. I actually didn't end up recording this one, so I thought, you know what? After the game finished, I thought I'll maybe just go ahead and uh, kind of go over it in a more analytical way. I've done this before, and people actually seem to enjoy it. It's a little bit of a different approach. Now, this is the game that actually is the one that either gets me back into promos, or of course, I'm uh, now up two wins away from promos. So I can't remember exact exact LP I was at. I'm pretty sure somewhere around uh, 82 or 83 LP at the beginning of this game, something like that. Uh, because, you know, we've just recently lost promos as well. Guys, I'm sure you guys are quite aware. But either way, guys, playing Zara for this one, my god, do I think... I think Zara is disgusting. Now, I'm doing it with, uh, I'm doing it with a general... God damn it, King Nidhogg, because we actually have a tournament coming up, which by the time you guys watch this video, we already played in it, but we have a tournament on Saturday where it's a land tourney where I'm playing with, you know, him, Erazot, Mimo, and Heisendong. They're my boys, I'm sure, you know, you guys saw them in the vlog I posted. And we were practicing combos, and for this one, we decided to go Zerath and Volibear, and my god, was it strong, and my god, is Zerath OP as hell, because I actually went for a very interesting build. So with all that being said and done, guys, let's take a look at this game and see what exactly happens. So I'm going to just start fast-forwarding this, because there really isn't anything to watch in this one, so... Landing against a Vagar, obviously when you're laying against Vagar as any other AP champion, you want to be very aggressive because, uh, you know, as a Zerath, I am stronger than him in lane by quite a bit. The build that I go for this game is actually going to be Ludens Echo with the Rallies, and god damn is it strong, because the Rallies got buffed, so it's a very strong item. It's good on Zerath because it lands you, it helps you land every single skill shot almost, right? It, the slow is absurd as well. And if you really want to, you can also opt in for the Leandries, which works exceptionally well with Rallies now. Um, or you can just not, and you're still perfectly fine. It's just, it's so good, but I ended up going, I believe, a Ludens Echo into a Rallies, into a Rabadons with Boots, of course, with the Void Staff, and I don't remember my final item. Now, really good roam on the Vagar here, but unfortunately, it doesn't work out super well, and I can't actually go top and uh, help because, you know, he, he roamed a lot faster than I did because of the, he had the TP advantage, so he was in a better spot, and very good roam from him. Couldn't follow it, so I ended up pushing the lane. He missed the wave, but he gets the wave top lane to make up for that anyways, and my goal here is just to get my CS. Now, Eric is coming in here with the gank and you know puts a lot of damage onto the Vagar. Purposely waits for a while and okay, this is this is really awkward. <laughs> Just barely get the kill on Vault Tank in the tower. That was very, very risky, but I wanted to pop the ult as soon as possible because the Vagar had the red buff on him, right? So he was slowed, and I wanted to get the ult off while this red buff was still on the Vagar. So pretty good gank by Eric there by Mr. King Nidhog. And uh, now I go back to mid, push it in. The Vagar ended up roaming Bot, which obviously is a good roam because he has to make something else happen. But, let me just backtrack a bit actually guys, sorry. But, obviously I see him roam down now. It's not going super super well because they're trying to tower dive this Warwick. So I end up coming over here. 
and boom, the meteor kill comes in hot. Yes, in Italy. And the Vagar at this point, honestly, like, you can't even do anything anymore. So I get extra kills there. Now I am sitting at a 4 and 0 uh, score. Already sitting with the Luden Zeko. And since I opted in for, I forgot the name of the tree, the one that, with uh, the free boots. I get the free boots. So that's, you know, very, very gold efficient. So I can just go right for the items that I want to get. The, you know, the big damage spikes. But keep forwarding this in. This Ezreal is being very aggressive there. I mean, he doesn't realize how strong I am because... I mean, taking a look at my items, okay, I can't else, by the way, I mean, I don't have my rallies yet, but... Taking a look at the items, I'm very, very close to getting the rallies for the Scepter, now the Volibear with a nice flip. This is a pretty big fight over here, the Vagar coming in here, nice snare by the Zaya, but then I, my goal here is to try and focus on the damage carries, right? So, boom, get the snipe on the Vagar from afar, while the Warwick and the Volibear are essentially in the front line, right? They're, they're in the front, they're taking the damage, and uh, it's really, really good. Here, I get a nice snipe from the Nidalee, check it out. Look at this. Oh, I cannot believe that actually hit her, that was so close. But I clean up really hard. I got double buffs, so my mana is going to start regenerating. Poke around, you know. Just a constant barrage of just massive damage coming in from the back line. It's just so, so good on Seraph. And that's what he excels at. And I love him for that. I really like champions that are very, very far range. And there's just unleashed. this just barrage of just damage after damage. Super, super nice. Very fun to play, too. I am just... I I'm so strong. Check it out. Look at this. I see the Vega coming. Boom! With the Rylas slow. Well, unfortunately for me, I'm boosted as hell, but my god, that W damage is unbelievable. This is the part I was talking about, watch. He flips, and the second he flips, I know exactly where he's gonna come. So I just instantly pre-fire my Q, and then it's a free kill. It's a free kill. Very nice synergy with the Volibar there, because he has the slow as well, and it just works out very well together. Now we see the Nasus here, or the Nilly here, a little bit tilted, I don't know what she's doing. Uh, out of position there. So, the, I mean, not really much to see there, other than the Volibear obviously slowing her, flipping her, and I just unleash the WQ and she's dead. And we just continue to push. I mean, I just completely clear the, the back line. I also went for the minion dematerializer, so it pretty much guarantees that I have massive minion damage. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I missed this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. Hey! Woo! The Volibear flip. Again, I know exactly where he's gonna land, and I just pre fire the Q, and the damage is disgusting. Look at this. Just look at this. Just. Oh, it's just so much damage. It's so OP. I love it. I actually love Zaraf right now. Honestly, I think he's so good. This is, this is like one of the first times I've ever went for Rallies on Zaraf. I've never went for it because I never thought it was good. But now that it got buffed, I ended up trying it out. And honestly, I'm a big fan. I'm a very big fan. Look at this. Look at this. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That is, that is, that is nutty, man. That is nutty. Hey, yeah. Hey. Uh, hey. So satisfying. It really is. Hey. Hey. Flip. No flip. Yeah, nothing really happens here. I get away, though. Oh, this fight actually started off a little bit scary. This work went too deep, and he died really fast. But I ended up dishing out so much damage that it didn't matter. Like, I have damage to make up for two champions. Nice tornado by the Jan. It got, it got me a Q on both of these pushes, so that was really good, actually. Dude, Vega barely does. And the war was dead, so that was really, really bad. Boom! Look at that damage! Hey, hey, I missed. Okay. Oh my god, and the flash, and... Oh. <laughs> and the meteor with the finish. Alright, very good kill there. Look at this damage, just... Hey, ah! Hey, ah, the stun WQ. And the final score is 15 1 8. No, nope. 15 1 and 9 is the final score, boys and girls. I mean, there you have it. That's the game that you guys technically missed. So I ended up doing this kind of different uh, uh, commentary over it. And, you know, some people said they enjoy these kind of commentaries. You know, I'm trying to make it a little bit more analytical. But Zerath, my god, I love him. I actually, I, I, may, I might actually play him a lot more often. I, this build, I actually think is insane. I love it. The, the, the Ludens into the Rallies, into the Void, into the, or rather, into the Rabadons, into the Void. Beautiful, beautiful build. Fantastic, very strong. You can also throw a Banshee's Veil maybe in there as well. Uh, or Banshee's Veil if they have a lot of AP cash potential. What's it called? Leandre's Mask if they have a lot of tanks. It all works, baby. It all works. But either way, guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Next episode, we're playing the promos. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys for the next video. Peace.